Hi everybody, uh, welcome back for another video where I will I'll show you how to make great pH and conductivity measurements thanks to the DF robot modules. Today we'll talk about a um, very strange phenomenon that uh, happens when you try to make two separate measurements in the same water tank. And it's for people who make measurements in um, hydroponics, aquaponics, uh, or also in um, swimming pools, or whatever water tank you have, aquarium also. Here is what happened. If you want to make some measurements with GF robot modules, what you will need is first an MCU. Your MCU will be typically an Arduino. I say an Arduino because it's the module everybody knows. Everybody will see what I'm talking about. And you will put two circuits, one for pH, one for EC. You will take those circuits from a company, from DF Robot, for example. You've got here a conductivity circuit and the pH circuit. And those circuits will be plugged to a sensor. So here you got your pH sensor and here you got your conductivity sensor. And basically those sensors are plunged in your water tank. So what happens is a sensor, sensor like that will make um, electricity, uh, will emit a current in your liquid uh, like that. And so it's not a problem when you've got only one sensor uh, in a water tank, but when you put two sensors, both will emit electri electricity. So when this one will emit, this one will get the electricity from the first one, and uh, the result uh, will have parasites, and vice versa. So what can we do about it? Well, what, what we can do is here, for example, Instead of having only, uh, if, instead of having the two probes directly connected to the MCU, we will put an isolator. What is an isolator? It's an intermediate circuit that we will put on the EC part or pH part, whatever. Uh, you have to uh, put the isolator on each one of them, and this isolator will uh, isolate the current uh, and, um, so that you don't have parasites between the two probes. So how does it work? Basically, you, you need your Arduino right here and you will buy the isolation module from DF Robot. It's like that. You will buy the pH kit, which has the pH circuit with the pH probe that you plug into it and you will buy the conductivity circuit which also has its own probe. And now let me show you how you can plug all that and make it work. Now we have to, pl to plug all this together and for that, you will need the cable that comes with the isolation module and you will need the cables that comes with the pH sensor and the EC sensor. What you will also have to take is a prototype board, the famous one, and some male-to-male -male DuPont cables. Uh, here we have four and here we have three and three. Now, let's make some room for that, Up. so we can start fresh. So, we will have to plug our modules. As we saw in our schematic right here, we'll plug one module directly. So, in this case, we'll take the pH meter, so we plug the pH meter, plug it to its sensor, so that's okay for this part. And we will take all the required wire in order to plug them. I will plug the, the plus and minus on the breadboard. 
So I, I didn't choose the perfect uh, cable color because I took um, orange for minus, which is a little bit strange, but whatever. I'll put the data line here. Um, and now we will take our EC module, plug the, plug the sensor, and it plugs to the isolation module. So you take this little guy right here. Up. You've got two sides right here. You've got sensor and MCU. So the sensor part to the sensor side. And on the other side, you will take the cable that comes with the connectivity module. You put it on the MCU side. And you'll do the same stuff with Dupont cables. The same thing that we did for the other module for pH. So plus minus and the data. I should have taken longer cables. <laughs> or I should uh, take the longer one. So here it is. We got plus minus and the data. And now we just have to plug our Arduino plus minus and the two data. So the data will vary depending on your code that you will use. Uh, basically you have to put it on analog because those two sensors are analog so I'll put on A0 and A1. Here I will first plug in the plus and minus on the plus and minus rail. So we will have the electricity coming from USB or power supply unit and the plus and minus will go to the power rail and that will power all our modules right here. And we will take our two data lines and plug it to the data lines from the EC and PH module. And voila! So with this configuration you can measure conductivity and pH uh, at the same time in a solution and you will have very accurate results all the time. So now remember uh, you only need one isolation module if you need if you use two sensors and if you use three sensors you will need uh, two isolation modules basically. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, you can write them in the comment section. You can also visit our website and social networks to get the latest news. And you can subscribe to the newsletter so that you can be part of the product test program. See you next time. Bye.